morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the moving averages, the day's support, resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Thursday the 11th of November. Looking at Bitcoin against the US dollar and the hourly candlesticks, bearish start to the morning. You can see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 65.565 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 68.264. Plenty of support from the broader market is going to be needed for Bitcoin to return to 68,000 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's new all-time high is 68,958 to cap the upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Bitcoin target 78,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 71,657. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 62,172 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Bitcoin should stay clear of sub-60s. Second major support level sits at 59,473. Looking at the moving averages, we've got the 50 EMA closing in on the 100 and the 200, putting pressure on Bitcoin through the early part of the morning. So key through the early part of the day would be for Bitcoin to move through the pivot at 65,565 and break back through to 68,000 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Be able to do that. And support levels will come into play. Looking at Ethereum against US dollar, also bear a start. Going to need to see Ethereum move through the pivot at 4653 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 4847. Support is going to be needed for Ethereum to return to 4800 levels. So, barring an extended rally on the day, that first major resistance level and yesterday's new all time high, 4867.81, should limit the upside. In the event of an extended rally, got the second major resistance level of 5061 to cap the upside on the day. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level of 4439 into play, barring an extended sell off on the day. Ethereum should stay clear sub 4200 levels. Second major support level at 4246 should limit the downside. Looking at the moving averages, we've also got the 50 EMA closing in on the 100 and the 200, so expect further downward pressure to come should the 50 narrow the gap on the 100. So key through the early part of the day, move through the pivot at 4653 and break back through to 4800 levels. Failure to do that and support levels will come into play. Looking at Litecoin against the US dollar tracking the broader market, going to see Litecoin move through the pivot at 272 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 291. Support's going to be needed for Litecoin to break back through to 280s. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of another rally, should see Litecoin retest resistance at 300 before any pullback. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 241 into play. Barring an extended sell on the day, Litecoin should stay clear of the 38.2% fib at 223 and the second major support level at 222. Looking at the moving averages, slight narrowing of the 50 on the 100, but that's still a bullish signal. So going to need to see Litecoin break back through the 50 EMA and return to 280s to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar, bucking the early trend. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 1.2207 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 1.3203. Plenty of support is going to be needed for Ripple's XRPs break back through to 1.3s. So barring an extended rally on the day, that first major resistance level on yesterday's high at 1.34813 should cap the upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ripple's XRP target the 62% fib, setting at 1.4096 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 1.4478. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 1.0932 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, however, Ripple's XRP should avoid the 38.2% fib at 1.0659. Second major support level sits at 0.9935. Looking at the moving averages, 50 MA narrowing on the 100 and the 200. Look out for a further narrowing that would possibly deliver a bearish cross. So key would be to move through the pivot at 1.2207 and break back through the 50 MA and return to 1.3s. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play.